Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do an aunties video. I collected a bunch of shit in the past month and I'm gonna show you what kind of products that I used up and also I'm gonna do a little bit review as well. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, please keep on watching. I'm gonna start off by showing you guys all the facial masks that I used up. This one is from Dr. Jart. It's that creepy baby facial mask. Yeah, this one doesn't work at all. Actually, it sucks pretty hard. It comes with this little pot that has cream in it and you put the cream on your face as a first step and then you put the rubber mask on and just nothing happened afterwards and I know this one is pretty expensive, like almost 10 bucks I think and it doesn't do anything to your face. So I was pretty disappointed with this one and you have to put this on your face for like 45 minutes. Yeah, 30 to 40 minutes. That, that That's a long time and it doesn't work at all. So it's a strong pass for me. The second sheet mask is this Perlis. Yeah, it's this green tea and ginger rejuvenating sheet mask. This one actually it's pretty good. I got this from APC bag. I got two of those and I use this. It's pretty nourishing. Even though I I could feel it burns a little bit, but I get that from a lot of sheet masks. So that's not a deal breaker for me. But I do really like this sheet mask and I still got a backup of this. So pretty good. The next thing that I used up is this Dr. Dennis Gross Universal Daily Peel. I really like this. This is just a chemical exfoliator and I personally prefer chemical exfoliator over physical exfoliator. See how hard I'm trying right now? I usually use this when I go to bed and the next morning I can see a huge difference. My face got really smooth and it has that blurry feeling. I don't know how to describe it and all the little bumps on my face just disappeared. And But I do but I do not use this every day, it's too strong. I just use this every three or four days and be really careful about putting on sunscreen because you need a lot of sunscreen when you're using this type of chemical exfoliator. I I would definitely buy this again. Uh, it's too expensive, I would say. I got this one from a small pack of five. I bought that on Sephora, I think it's about 24 bucks for five of this. Maybe I'm wrong. But I just think it's a little bit expensive, but it does come with a lot of pads like this. I think I might just buy the bullet and get one next year. Next year. I don't have any money. The next thing is this toothpaste from Marvis. I recently got this one. I It, it took me like almost a month to finish this up. It's, it's It doesn't have a lot of product in here. I... Even though I like it, but I don't think it's worth the money. This one, I forgot how much is it. Probably 14 bucks. Yeah, but I got it from Sephora VIB sale. Still, I I don't think it's worth the money. And it says it's whitening toothpaste, but I don't see that much of a difference. But I do think it's a pretty decent, pretty, pretty good toothpaste. And... The texture of it feels really nice and the mint scent is not that strong. So all in all, I had pretty good experience with this toothpaste. Maybe I will buy it again, but I have a giant tube of toothpaste in my bathroom right now. So maybe, maybe when Sephora has another VIB sale, I would buy this again. But it just, I don't see any whitening effect and I'm not actually counting on this to whiten my teeth. So it's just something that I might repurchase in the future. The next thing that I used up is this um, Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Body Scrub. I actually talked about this in my body care routine video. A lot of people like this product and I finally decided that I'm going to try it out. And turns out it's... I understand why it's so popular. It just smells pretty nice and works perfectly well. But it's 15 bucks. I might try to get one when it's on sale, but I noticed that Soap and Glory rarely has sale on this kind of product. So I'm not sure, but I will definitely buy this again if it's on sale. The next thing, I love it so much. This is from CeraVe. It's the 
hydrating facial cleanser. This is my favorite cleanser from the drugstore. And I say it from the drugstore because my all-time favorite facial cleanser, non-foaming cleanser, is from a philosophy. It's that purity philosophy facial cleanser. Yeah, that is my all-time favorite one. And this is the best from the drugstore. Yeah, this one doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't have any fragrance in, in here. And your skin just feels so hydrated after this. And especially when you have dry skin, this type of non-foaming formula would just be perfect for your skin type. Even though it's uh, 15 bucks, it's not necessarily super affordable, but you do get a shit ton of product in this one. So this is my favorite facial cleanser from the drugstore, and I would definitely buy this again. The next product that I used up is just a travel size facial cleanser from Fresh. It's their soy face cleanser. I used a ton of this before, but I stopped buying this because I, I don't think it's worth the money. $38 for this for a bigger tube. I don't think it's worth the money and I don't care that much about facial cleanser. I already have my favorite one, but I got this from Sephora, like their point rewards kind of thing so I still I just use it up and I still like it but I just wouldn't buy it again if I get it from Sephora as a sample I would try it but $38 for a facial cleanser just the next product is just from my project pen it's the skin suitable botanical gel for hyperpigmentation I already gave so many reviews on this product so I won't repeat myself. Just gonna give you an update. I stopped using this for two weeks because it was gone and I got new spots on my cheeks. Just right here and here. Brand new spots. That never happened once when I was using this one. So now I know. It works. <laughs> it has done so much for me. I just took it for granted. I didn't know that it prevents my spots. So I'm go gonna order another bottle of this. I I think it retails for 86 bucks, but it does last for a really long time and it actually works. So I'm gonna repurchase this. I used up two bottles of dry shampoo. This one is just from Batiste and I really like it. This is like my favorite dry shampoo ever. I'm not saying it's the best dry shampoo, but Considering the price of this and how it works, this is just my best choice, best choice. I actually heard a lot of people say that this one will give you white cast on your hair. That never happened to me. I don't, well, I can understand we are all different, but I just, nev it never happened to me. I never got white cast on my hair because of this. And my scalp is pretty dry. And I think you just really need to get in there, just blend the hair out something like that. I actually stopped buying dry shampoo from Sephora because I discovered this one. Yeah, it's it's my favorite. And oh, oh, actually another thing about this, the scent wears off during the day. So that's a good thing cuz you don't want your hair it smells like cheap artificial scent, you know. So but it wears off around noon. I can barely smell it in my hair. Not like a lot of other dry shampoo, you know. The second thing is a uh, 24k Sally Hershberger Supreme Stylist Voluminous Dry Shampoo. It does give you a lot of volume, but it does not absorb the oil on your hair. So I don't understand why it's called dry shampoo. Maybe it works like a volume mist. Yeah, but it, it does not work as a dry shampoo. This will make your hair really big but also really sticky on the top of your hair. So I don't understand why it's being called a dry shampoo, but it does give you volume. It just doesn't absorb oil at all and it makes your hair sticky. The last thing is just teeny tiny travel size belief moisturizer. Oh my God, I love this. The True Cream Moisturizing Balm. This is so good. Uh, I know it's a Korean brand, so I'm probably not gonna buy this from Sephora. Maybe when I'm traveling to South Korea, I can buy a lot of these at a cheaper price, you know? So, but I'm definitely 
planning to buy this. It's just so good. Yeah, even though it's just a small size, but it just changed my mind immediately because I used to kind of wasn't really impressed by this brand, but this one changed my opinion. Okay, so that wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have so many more videos coming up next year, but I will be filming my two project pan finales before the end of this year. So stay tuned for that one and I'll s oh, oh, and happy holidays. That's what people say to each other this time of the year. So I'm gonna say that. Happy holidays and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.